Hello everyone, my name is As a True How are you and welcome to another Star Wars Battlefront 2 video of mine. And in this video, I am going to be giving you a really easy to follow tutorial on how you can download, install, and use mods for Battlefront 2. The most popular series on my channel is the one that I do every Sunday, which is the top five mods of the week. Over the past few weeks, there has been an increase in comments asking for me to do a tutorial on how to install mods. And I put it off because mods were broken, the entire modding suite was broken due to the previous Battlefront patch. But that has been fixed now so we can now install and create more mods for the game. And this was a perfect opportunity for me to make this video because I wanted to make this video before the last patch and I suspected it would break the tools just like it usually does, but I didn't expect it to break them this badly. So they're back and up and running now. It's totally fine to use. So let's get straight into the tutorial. I'm going to make this video really easy to follow and not too long, but not super quick. And if you do have any questions or issues that you're facing when you're installing the mods or just the process of getting this to work, please let me know in the comment section below so I can reply to you and hopefully offer you some advice to fix your issues. Also, if you previously used the modding tools, you will need to download the latest update and there'll be an important step later on in the tutorial that you must follow. Without further ado, let's get started. Firstly, head over to Google and type in WinRAR, search and select WinRAR Archiver. This will take you to RAW Lab and select whatever version of Windows you're on for your language. So I'm gonna select English 64 bits. There will be a link to this in the description below, by the way. Make sure you allow it to work and install. So select to install wherever you would like and it will not take very long to install. It'll be pretty quick and that step is done. Then you want to head over to the Frosty Tool website and download Frosty 1.0.4.2. There is an editor option and a mod manager option. If you want to make mods, you can select the editor one, but I'm not going to be discussing that in this video. Simply hit download on mod manager and it will be a raw file. This is why you need WinRAR. There'll be a link to this website in the description below, so you can go ahead and download it. If you open it up, you'll be greeted with this WinRAR window. So this step is exclusively just for people that have previously used the Frosty tools. You need to follow this step before launching them again. Head over to where your game is installed. So mine is this drive, games, origin, and then Star Wars Battlefront 2. Delete the folder mod data. That must be deleted if you've previously installed the mods into Battlefront 2 in the past, otherwise you'll corrupt your files. So now you have the modding tools downloaded, go ahead and make a folder wherever you like and call it whatever you like. Just for this video I'm going to keep it on my desktop and call it Frosty. Then go ahead and open the Frosty tools folder you downloaded using WinRAR and then select Extract 2, and then choose the folder you want to extract it to. So I'm going to select the one on the desktop I just created called Frosty. Then you'll see a bunch of different files, including the Frosty Mod Manager. Right click, hit properties on it, and then compatibility. Make sure run this program as administrator is ticked. If it isn't, tick it, hit apply, OK, sorted. Then you want to run it as an administrator like you would with any regular program. Upon opening it for the first time, you will need to select the executable for Star Wars Battlefront 2. If you don't know where that is, open Origin, select the Origin section and then Application Settings in the top left hand corner. Head over to Install and Saves and in the Game Library location there will be a folder that is already selected that houses your games. Select that and make sure you know what that folder is and just go back to the Frosty Mod Manager and go through those folders. So select the origin game, Star Wars Battlefront 2, and then select the application. Now you can download and install the mods. So as you can see, I'm on the modding Discord server. There will be a link to that in the description below. This is a place that you can go and speak to the modders about modding and of course download mods. 
Most of the mods are housed on Nexus mods. That's another website I'll leave down below. Select Star Wars Battlefront 2, sign up for an account so you can download the mods. And this is where you'll pretty much get all your mods from. Hit download on one of the mods and wait for it to download. To install the mods, simply open the Frosty Mod Manager, then select Import Mods. Then go to your download folder and select the mod, just double click it and it will install the mod. So as you can see here, you do get a bit of a description, you see what files are changed and then you can see your applied mods using this tab. So if the tick is on, it's going to launch with that mod. If it's ticked off, it won't launch with it. You can create various profiles and then when you're ready, just click that launch button. It will come up with this message saying there is no mod data path. Just select OK, it'll create it for you and then it will launch the Battlefront 2 mod. And then it will launch the game with the mods. So as you can see, I installed the Better Imperial Units mod and they are clearly different in the menu. They're available to be used in the game. So it's as simple as that. It really is that simple. I'll repeat this step for you so it's clear if you didn't get it the first time round. Here is another mod, the Scarless Kylo mod. Hit manual, the download button, and then I go straight to Frosty Mod Manager when it's downloaded. Hit import mods. You can install multiple mods at a time. It's really simple, just control and click them. And there you go, another mod has been installed. You can double click on the mod and it will add it to applied mods and then you just tick which ones you want to work. Obviously you can move them up and down depending on the levels of how the mods work. Some mods will not work with each other so it's best to keep as many unticked as possible. If you do know they will clash. Some of them won't though so that's okay. So I'm just going to answer a few frequently asked questions because I'm sure these are going to come up in the comment section even if I do mention them in this video. So the number one question is always, will I get banned for using mods? You will not get banned, but if a mod specifically states do not to use online, then don't use it online. It will be in the description or title, just listen to what it says do not use it online but if you're using standard cosmetic mods you'll be fine they won't have an impact on your account but if they do specifically say don't use online or you're afraid that there is no warning just don't do the risk just don't go for it but if you're playing arcade and you install some clone mods for example that's okay you can just play arcade and have no issues there Another frequently asked question is, can I do this on console? No, you can't. There is no ability to use mods on PlayStation 4 or Xbox One. It's strictly only on PC. Some people will also ask, why aren't these mods working? I'm downloading them, installing them, and it's crashing my game. Well, after a brand new Battlefront patch, which happens every four weeks or so, there will be a week or a few weeks where the mods just don't work because A, the mods haven't been updated and B, the tools are broken because of the latest update. When the tools work, a lot of the older mods will work, but a lot of them won't work at the same time. They need to be updated to the latest version of the game. You will just have to wait until they do work again. If you are having any other issues, be sure to repair your game through Origin. And if you're continuing to have more issues, feel free to check out the Discord server. They're a really helpful bunch and they will happily help you out and troubleshoot your issues. So do not fret, you'll get modding in no time. So that is it for this tutorial. That is how you can install Battlefront 2 mods. And that is it for this tutorial. I hope it helped you install mods for Battlefront 2 and if it did be sure to let me know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video and it did and it was helpful to you drop a like on this video and subscribe for more Battlefront 2 news and modding videos. That's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching yet again. Check out any of the two previous videos on screen and I shall see you all in my next Star Wars Battlefront 2 video. Goodbye.